This one's very ominous and very fall-esque. Happy fall! It is officially cardigan weather. I wore this even though I don't necessarily need to wear it because it's not really that cool yet. It's a little cool. It's a little chilly at night, but it's not too bad during the day. So, ah, hi, <clears throat> how's it going? My name is Priscilla. I like to talk about stuff. For example, I like to talk about what just arrived. I was out hustling, doing what I need to do. And I uh, got back and there was this, this little guy was sitting outside. I don't know what these numbers mean, but I'm going to cover them up, them up anyhow. Not that you probably couldn't see them anyhow, but whatever. Yeah, this is waiting outside. I just ripped it open or actually cut it open. And then haven't even done anything with what's inside. Is it stuck in there? Oh, it is stuck in there. What in the world is that all about? Okay, I guess. Woohoo! I have to remember what I got because I don't really pay attention. Um, so there you probably just saw my address. Whatever. Hey, you know, don't come visit and without letting me know first. <laughs> I don't have a cough drop and I don't have anything to drink here. <clears throat> so I might be coughing. Rainbow's very upset because, well, she's not upset. She's just like, mommy, what's wrong with you? Because I came running in the door. I was like, I got to do my live. I want to do it by eight. Central Standard Time. And she was all excited because she thought it was go outside time and it wasn't it was wait for mommy to do a live stream time so she's like mommy you suck she loves me though so she never she never thinks that i that i uh suck happy to be nappy 45 welcome to my party we're gonna have a party tonight right here in this place and you are my guest of honor um, all right, so we're going to go through some of the goodies I got. So I talked about on uh, Kelly's here. Yay, Kelly. Um, reinventing me is here. Med, med, is, is here. Sorry. <laughs> some of you guys, when you, when you decide your name, you have to think about if somebody wants to actually call you by your, by your, uh, Instagram name, like how are they going to, to actually say it? Um, yeah. So Sunday we talked about the Ulta sale that was going on end of this week. Right. And I, there was a couple things that I wanted to get. This was one of them. I kind of went back and forth, but we'll just do it this way. Ooh, did you see it? Did you see it? All right. I haven't opened it up. I haven't done anything. I literally just dumped everything out of the bag at the beginning of this. So you guys are all going to experience this with me. And I got a bunch of little things because I wanted to make sure that I got my $17 worth of like 500 points or whatever, which equals like $17 in uh, Ulta Rewards points so that I can push it all up there for my birthday slash Black Friday slash everything else. All right. So me and my ma mascara craze, um, I just posted a lash off between... Lash Princess, the Essence Lash Princess, and Wet n Wild. I like it when you call me Big Papa. Okay, you didn't know I was a rapper, did you? Anyway, uh, the Big Papa from Wet n Wild. Oh, they're sitting right here actually. So I need to stick them. I need to put them back. I did um uh posting that up, and then I took the photos and did the test for most of the day on these two, uh, which are. Considered to be dupes. So the Sky High from Maybelline and the Bad Gal Bang. Um, so these two are, this is Benefit and this is this is Maybelline. I think I said that. Um, these two are considered to be dupes. Obviously, I just have a sample of this, but that's okay. It still does the same trick. Um, the wands are very similar. This is not as bendy, uh, quite as bendy as this one. People have complained about that. I don't find it a problem, but I did notice after using this one, how bendy this was, but it didn't bother me either way. <clears throat> I think they're really, really similar, but of course I had just opened this one up. So it's not a super fair comparison yet, but after a few uses then I'll, then I'll put it to work for real. But I wanted to, to, you know, give a first impression of what I thought, but I just picked this one up. People have talked about this and I thought, you know, if people talk about it, I should probably talk about it since I'm apparently now 
making that one of my things is to compare. How you doing under there? Did you did you lose? Oh, you lost your foot. That sounds. She she plays with feet. Your cow feet. No, it's not vegan. It's from a real actual cow. So uh, yeah, cow hoof. She likes to chew on those. What? Did you lose it again? I don't know. Anyway, she's uh she's trying to entertain herself since mommy won't take her outside right now. So this is LA Girl Jet Setter Mascara Lash and Go. Just lash and go, y'all. Extreme length and dramatic lift. Every time she walks around here, she hits the um, blinds with her tail. So that's what that little sound, rhythmic sound is, almost rhythmic sound. Do you want to say hi? You want to say hi, Rainbow? No, she says, I want to go outside, Mom. Uh, smudge flake and tear resistant, easily removes with warm water. And eye opening brush lifts lashes, clump free formula. So it's basically supposed to do everything. Every mascara makes all these claims, so we're going to see if this actually does anything. I do like LA Girl a lot. Their, um, their palettes, their eyeshadows are fabulous. Some of the absolute best I think you can get, period. Not for the price, but period. And um, their eyeliners are also fabulous. Speaking of which, I got two of their eyeliners. I got this one in the Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner, and this is in Ocean. So this is a blue. I'll have a blue Christmas. Did I say uh, happy happy fall to y'all? Happy fall, y'all! Uh, didn't know I was a poet, did you? I actually am a poet. Sometimes. Do you guys open the little the little stringy things that way when they have the little um, the little perforated stuff, but you can't actually do anything with it unless you actually just put your tooth on it and just drag it along. Or am I the only one that does it that way? Is that a normal thing or is that a weird thing? I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if I'm normal or weird. Sometimes I figure I just have gotten accustomed to my weird weirdness that I think it's now normal. So this is this pretty teal metallic blue. Ooh! Ooh, 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 that is really, really pigmented and creamy and beautimous. Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. Okay, here's the other one I got. This is LA Girl also, but this is the Pastel Dreams Auto Eyeliner. I've got a couple of these. This one's in Magic Mint. Um, and it's not mint at all. It's more of a neon green, which is kind of fun. We can't really see it very well there, can you? It is, um, it is a pretty neon green, though. Trust me. Trust me. I know, Kelly. Isn't that pretty? Ah, that is beautiful. These are like four bucks or something like that. So, uh, yeah, try them. They're pretty great. From Essence, so this is all pretty much drugstore stuff, um, except for the Norvina palette. So I got this brow wax pen. Somebody said this is pretty good, and I have used the e.l.f brow wax pen, which is like a dollar. I think this is about the same. She, she laid down all dramatically and went, <sighs> like, mom, you're just pathetic. Um, there's not a whole lot in here, but we'll see how this does on my, on my brows. If it keeps them in place, I'm trying to figure out how to do my brows in a way that works for me. You know, you see they're pretty much hidden behind my glasses, but you can see a little bit. So it's nice to kind of clean them up and stuff. I don't put a lot of time in them, but anyway, I will try this and see how it goes. Um, I, I do remember liking the e.l.f. wax pen, so I may try to get that again. Uh, Essence the blush. I hope I didn't get the same one. This almost looks like the same, but let me check. Which one do I have? If this is the same one, then I'll just give it away. I don't think it's the same one, though. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Okay, I got... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they look very different now. They just look somewhat similar when I first picked this one up. So this is the old one I've got, Befitting, um, the blush from Essence, and this is Bespoke. Now, this is, I think, supposed to have a little bit of shimmer in it, if I'm not mistaken, but I might be wrong. It looks a little sh slightly shimmery there. It looks a little more uh, bronzy, neutral, warm. So that's kind of... That's cute. I wanted to try another color in this blush because I've really liked the other one. Uh, it really does get a great reputation. So those are my essence picks.
I just, like I said, I just threw some of the cheap stuff in there that I wanted to try um, just to make sure that it was, I was getting free shipping and that I was getting my 500 points. Because I knew these are things that I would get eventually anyhow. And then the last thing besides the, the palette is this little guy. So now this is the third color. I think I have the watermelon. I have the spiced apple. And this one is pomegranate. I can't see anything. I told my husband today, I was going through my glasses. As you might notice, these are glasses you haven't seen for a while. Um, or for some of you might not have seen them at all because I changed my glasses out by the season and I put about 20 in a little shoe box basically um, and take them out of their little organizer that I have them in. Yes, I have 20 per season, which means I have a lot more than that. Um, I have at least four times 20, right? Um, and so I was saying, oh man, I'm not going to be able to see, or I, I don't want to go to the, to the doctor because I'm going to have to get bifocals because I can't see anymore because I'm old. And my husband's like, well, just go and get them. I was like, is he giving me permission to like spend money? He doesn't care though. He, he lets me do what I want. He doesn't really, he'll at some point, he'll be like, well, baby, you know, we should probably save some money for this and that and everything else. But he doesn't make a big deal about it. I'm pretty good with money, um, believe it or not. So here's what these two look like swatched on the fingers. Um, just a really nice, pretty, I'm going to swatch this a little bit more. This is like, um, a nice cool tone rosy color really pretty and then the the highlight I like to kind of just mix them together but you can do the highlight I kind of use this as a blush topper usually um, and just make it a little shimmery but you can do it however you want and actually the spiced apple one I use a lot of my bronzer that's actually in my project pants so these guys these little goodies that I got they will go into my um, little organizer over here and then come through and be part of my monthly stuff that I'm working on. So I'm going to wipe these things off the back of my hand so that they don't do anything. I'm going to rub this a little bit so you can see these aren't going anywhere. Even that green, the green is, you know, it's just drowned out by the lights, but it is there. I can see it clearly. I can see clearly now the green is there. Anyway, um, yeah, but the blue is not going anywhere. So that's promising. And now for what you all were waiting for. How many of you have this palette? I am so late to this party, y'all. I'm so late. I just got the modern renaissance, 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 renaissance in the Ipsy X. Chloe Kardashian. Um box and uh i was surprised it was i was like okay you know what okay all right quality is really nice the color story is really solid i'm not gonna complain you also get a brush which is kind of cool <coughs> so this is my very first revelation oh let me close it let me close it and have the revelation in front of all of you norvina it's this nice pretty purple velvet which you know i mean come on. it's purple of course i'm gonna buy it I mean, dumb question. Nobody asked the question. But if they did ask the question, I would say dumb question because it's purple and it's velvet and pretty. So it's the original Norvina. Um, and then there's the Norvina brand that has the like pro pigment palettes. Um, and I do want the pro pigment five and I might want one also, but I've got to kind of check and see how those are. Okay. Everything arrived intact. There's a little bit of dust here, but that's not... Um, nothing is broken. So it has this nice long mirror in here. And then here's the color story. Let me see if I can, the, the uh, brush just fell out. It's pretty washed out on um, YouTube, but IG can see the colors pretty well. Um, it has that purpley thing going on, which, hello, but it's not super purple. And that's what made me kind of hold off on it. Cause I was like, well, you know, it's pretty neutral. And it is. But it was half price. And it's the one thing every everybody was saying, well, if you're going to get one thing, this is the one to get. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I will take the brush because I have another one of these from the other palette. And I'll take it out of here because I hate brushes in palettes. Like, I, I mean, I like having the brushes. 
you know, being given the brushes, but I don't like them being in the palettes. I also really don't like double-ended brushes because I store my brushes like this. And so, yes, this says hubby because I stole his, I stole his mug for my brushes because I can. Um, but where's my other one? Um, and the problem with these is they're a little bit shorter. So they don't, I don't grab them as often because they're not as obvious. And so it usually takes me a while to get through, you know, like dirtying up a bunch of my brushes. And then finally I see these and I go, oh yeah, that's right. I got those brushes. They do work pretty well though. They are nice, both sides of these. Here's the other one. Nope, that's not it. I lied. I don't know what end I'm looking for. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, there it is. So there's the other one that I have. Um, I like them because this end is really good for the shimmers. And then this end is really good for blending. So in fact, let's go ahead and take this one out and I'll just go ahead and use those for my two looks. So y'all didn't know what I was going to do for my two looks. Guess what? I didn't know what I was going to do for my two looks either because I didn't know when this was going to come. And then I got the notification that it was going to come and I said, yay, I'll do that for my two looks. Um, I am surprised actually that Ulta is not in Canada. Rainbow's down here under the table and she just gets really close to my finger and goes, and just like touches my finger with her with her tongue because she knows that will get my attention. Don't you? She's such a little butthead, but she's so cute. Um, <clears throat> she's like, mommy, you came home and then you didn't take me outside. What's wrong with you, mom? I have to play with makeup, girl. This is important. Just, just, it's, a, it's important. Besides, I took you out like a couple hours ago. You're fine. Um, <clears throat> anyway. So poor girl, she, she has to go through so much. She's here by herself and she's very lonely and sad. And then we don't play with her enough. And mommy and daddy are so busy. And I keep telling daddy she needs a, she needs a brother or sister and he doesn't listen to me. So <sighs> poor girl, poor girl. All right. I'm going to try to use some of the stuff that I got here. I don't know what I'll use the blue and the, and the green, um, pens or pencils are not really very, they don't really coordinate with what we've got here. I could probably make the blue work. The green would be a little bit weird. Well, it could, it could maybe work, but um, I'm not going to try to probably incorporate those in, but I might try the blushes and stuff like that just for fun. If we get that far, we'll see. Um, you can wait for an hour, right, girl? She's like, I suppose. Fine. She's so funny. She's got, when she knows that I'm leaving the house, she'll like go into her kennel. And then just kind of look out at me like, basically that exact look. Like, she's so sad. I'm like, sorry, baby girl. This is the way it is. Okay, let's see if I can zoom you in. And by zoom you in, you know how this goes. I mean, grab the pile of books that my computer's sitting on and pull it all towards me and set this palette. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that thing. I got so much stuff sitting here. It's ridiculous. My mommy sent me a pretty scarf. I'm going to show you guys that really pretty for, for fall. I also have a power strip sitting here because my phone has run down a little bit. So see if I can get you close up close and personal so you can see all the pores and imperfections. Every time I do that, it gets a little bit of shadowy because, um, the ring light is back there, but, um, yeah. So Ulta not being in Canada, I'm surprised. Isn't it Ulta in, in Europe or do they just ship to Europe? I don't know. Yeah. Ulta is in Europe. Why are they not in Canada? I mean, you know, nobody lives in Canada, but still <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Kelly lives in Canada and that's what's important. Um, I've considered moving to Canada. Actually, there's, uh, some, career opportunities there, like, um, professor, professorships and whatnot, and some research opportunities as well in the immigrant communities that I, I really focus on, like, um, my research. Hey, there we go. There's a fun topic to talk about that has nothing to do with makeup. So you guys get to know me a little bit. Um, my research that I do is, um, very much in the social sciences. And I focus a lot on diverse communities and disenfranchised communities. Not necessarily just disenfranchised, but just 
you know, uh, underrepresented communities and just trying to see perspectives, you know, just get everybody a little bit more informed about life. By the way, here's the, the scarf. I stuck to the envelope she sent it in. Um, the scarf my mommy sent me. Isn't that cute? Look at those colors. They're so pretty. So I'll be wearing that at some point sitting here next to me. Okay. So, um, so yeah, maybe at some point I'll move to, to Canada. Rainbow, could you pick that up for me, please? She's very unhelpful. She's sitting on my other foot, but she's not helping me pick up that brush I just dropped. And I don't have a lot of space to maneuver without everything crashing to the ground. So we're going to try to make that not happen. This is not a very professional setup, guys, but you already knew that. All right, we're going to go with purple on one side because uh, it's my eyes, dang it, and I can. So, um, yeah, the, the scarf is really pretty. She's like, I sent you a little scarf because it fit in the envelope. That's how my mom is. Her, her love language is giving to the point that it actually, it would make my, my sisters-in-law so upset because they would give her something and she would give it away. And I'm like, no, you have to understand, if my mom really loves something, the way you know that is if she gives it away, like the sooner she gives it away to somebody else, the more she loved it. It's just, that's, that's just how my mom is. Um, cause that's giving and receiving are her love language, but mostly it's giving. So, all right. So what are we going to do? I think we're going to go with like a really try to do a grungy look on one side. I, everybody's saying grungy as if it's like, I don't know. I'm going to go right into soul, which is the most purple matte here in the palette. Um, and I'm going to tap that onto, it, it is a little kick up -y, but that's okay. I don't usually tap off my brushes because I tap it right in. Uh, and then I, I don't like swipe it on. I usually just tap it on and that makes sure that any loose pigment is going to be taken care of. But yeah, that did the trick that definitely applied. So we'll just stick that there. And I'm going to do my basic, so, you know, kind of looking at uh, the mirror like this. And I want to kind of come from the hood and go straight out and then from the lash line and go up. So I'm giving it that kind of winged look. Tap out the primer a little bit. Oh, by the way, the primer I used is this one I'm panning from uh, Essence, the I Love Stage. Pretty good primer. If you need a cheap, affordable primer that does the trick, that'll do the trick. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make a little wing shape here. I go into this not knowing what I'm going to do and it's a surprise for everyone, especially since I didn't know what palette I was going to use. So, and I didn't have it until literally just now. So, um, I'm going to leave that right there for right now. I'm so un unprepared for this cause I was out and about, and then I stopped for you guys, because I love y'all so much. Um, let's go into love. Speaking of love, love and love, true love. Oh, that's really bright pink. That's okay. We'll follow you forever. If you don't know that, that movie that I'm quoting right now, you can't be my friend. Just kidding. I should have, I really should have gotten some, some beverage. My, my tea is out in the car because I got to run out afterwards. And I was like, well, I'll just keep it in the car because I'll drink it later. Okay. Those two go really well together. They blend into each other quite nicely. I do. I mean, it always looks better on IG. So if you're on YouTube and you're like, what in the world is she talking about? Hop over to IG and check it out there. It's the same uh, name. Same handle. Do they say handle? Do they say, what do they say? Um, you know, but back in the day, isn't that what the, the truckers use or handles? What's your handle? Big Bob Grilly, grill, gr grilly, gr grizzly. That's what I was going to say. Grizzly. Five, three, eight. I don't know. Okay, that's really cute. Oh, man. This is shedding some stuff, and I don't... Maybe it's... Is it this brush? This must be the new brush. I didn't wash it first, so that might be why. Is this the new one? This looks like the new one, because it's... Yeah, this one looks like it's been 
um, a little bit used. So I think I'm gonna go into the rose gold as my main lid color for this one. So this is gonna be kind of a nice, lighter, brighter fall. Um, and I'm going to, I'm not gonna use my glitter glue because um, I'm just gonna basically take this off after the look, after I do this. Because when I leave here, I don't necessarily want to go out with two completely different looks on my eyes, but you know, that's okay. So I'm going to put this in the middle um, to kind of get the placement and then figure out what I want to put on the inside and outside from here. This color is so pretty. That's really nice. This is definitely for me a neutral palette, but you know, that's okay. Celestial is the more purple of the of the shimmers. I just use that same brush because they're going to blend together anyhow. That is the joy of having hooded eyes. Um, and they are about the same depth. So maybe I should have kind of scooted the rose gold one over a little bit more, but that's okay. I'm not... I'm not hating this. I'll just make Celestial come out a little bit more into like almost a wing sort of thing. You see the, you don't really see the contrast that much, but it is there. You'll see it a little bit more in the pictures. I try to take pictures after this. So I'm going to go into Wild Child, which is the lighter pink. This is not really rose gold. This is just basically a baby pink. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner. And I'll spray the brush again. Make sure it is set. This this little brush, these brushes that are in there, um, it really does pick up the shimmers very, very nicely. At least these shimmers. But I've used it on other shimmers, too, and I've liked the way that it performs. So, um, Yeah, that's cute. So we just have a very, a very, how do you, what is the word I'm looking for? It basically goes from the light pink to the rose gold to the purple. Whatever that is that I'm trying to say. You all know. You all know what, I'm, what I mean. Um, okay. Now I'm going to wipe this side off because I also like this for the under, under the eye sort of thing. Um, on the other side, I think I'm going to see how, how deep I can get this. Um, let's go into love which is the same thing I put at the top. And I didn't put any um, primer down here really, except anything that came off of my finger. And I'm basically putting this to the end, but I'm gonna kind of bring it down here at the end because I'm gonna put the purple right up against the, the purple, which is called soul. I don't know if I said that, but I'll put that right up against the lash line just to give it a little bit of depth there. So we're basically just matching the top to the bottom. Very cute, very cute. And then I'm gonna go into Dreamer, which is the lightest shimmer. Just using my little color switch, AOA Studio, Shop Miss A, cheap thing. Um, Dreamer is the lightest. I don't know if it's light enough for the inner corner, but we're gonna find out. Um, for my inner corner, I should say. I mean, I'm not super picky, so oh yeah, that, that's definitely reflective. It's kind of a nice champagne-y, um, pinky gold sort of look. Okay. I think that works the way it is. And then, um, the waterline, <coughs> you could pretty much put anything in the waterline. You could put something that's contrasting or you could put a purple, you could put a pink, you could, pink always scares me because I'm afraid I'm going to look like I'm ill. Um, but you know, you could put a, a green like this if you wanted to, to make it really contrasting. Um, but I think that's really nice. Um, I like that quite a bit. Okay. Let's see how, how grungy we can make this. Um, I think we're going to go into drama and I'm going to, I might just start there on the, on the left eye, on my left eye. I know for you guys, it's the right, but Hey. The magic of television, right? I don't need to use a different brush. I could just clean these off, but I'm going to use a different brush anyhow. 
Um, and I am, yeah, I'm just going to really try to make this grungy and deep and dark. So this is what drama looks like when I pick it up in the pan. That's what the brush looks like normally. So there is a little bit of that black on the tip, but yeah, it does pick up pretty well. Hi, Rainbow. How are you? If I spray you, you're going to be mad at me, aren't you? Like, Mommy, why would you do such a thing to me? So I'm really going to... Sorry. My phone decided that I needed to wake up or something. No, it wasn't a wake up alarm. It was a, hey, there's something to do alarm. So I'm going to use my, kind of do my, um, I just decided this now. I'm going to do my new favorite cut crease sort of process. Um, so what I do with my cut crease thing with my hooded eyes is I look straight ahead so that, you know, everything is basically hidden. I found that place right here and I trace. So that's where the shadow is going to be. And I just lightly trace this all the way out here. I give it a little bit of a wing there from the top. I bring it in. And this actually works really well with shimmers, especially deep shimmers. Deep shimmers are not as reflective and they kind of end up being like a satin. So you can get by with a lot with deep shimmers. Um, but I'll kind of pull that out like that. I'll tap it in again and I'll go from the bottom lash line, pull it up. So I just get that shape and then I'm basically going to fill it in. And I'm just tapping it in. This is uh, the brush is still damp. So it is picking up nicely and it's laying down nicely. Um, because it has just a little bit extra to adhere to. So, but I'm keeping this whole space here open in the front because that's my supposed cut crease. I don't do actual cut creases. I've tried to do them a few times and they look ridiculous on me. So I figured out this actually works for me. Okay, so we're going to kind of make sure the shape is there. Once the shape is there, I think I did a, a similar look with my, uh, with the Tinkerbell palette last week, didn't I? Y'all could tell me that. And then I'll just bring this down. I don't add anything extra. I just kind of bring it down here. All right. So now we've got a pretty dark and you know, dark and dreary. Not really. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from soul because that's what I used before. So I'm going to go into passion, which is a little bit of a, a red sort of color. We'll see how this works. I'm going to put this on kind of on the outside and use it to kind of blur and blend a little bit on the edge and give it a little bit of uh, variation on the color. So it's not just this deeper color. Um, but I'm just touching this along the edge of that purple. And then I'll flip it around and kind of use this to blend it out. Make it kind of fluffy. The Rococo era. When everything looked like cotton candy. That's the thing that I remember from my art uh, appreciation class. It was funny, the uh, instructor loved me until she found out that I was not a supporter of leftist policies. She didn't like my libertarian leanings at all. Too bad. Volatile. Volatile is like a topish brown. So it's like a mid taupe brown. I'm going to bring that a little further in. Um, these are still pretty dark. So you want to be pretty careful with them so they don't get carried away. So you don't get carried away. Or, you know, get carried away. I don't care. You do you. Do you. It's your eyes. It's your makeup. They do blend beautifully. This really blends nicely. Um, but that also means that, you know, they're going to travel. If you keep blending like this, you can end up getting it all the way up to your eyebrow. You know, which is a look. Whether or not it's the look you want, that's up to you. Let's, um, 
clean that off. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of passion. The, that darker, like, uh, rosy sort of color. Put it right here on the bottom. So again, we're giving a little bit of dimension from that deep, dark shimmer. Okay, now let's go into a bright one. We've got Dazzling, we've got Summer. Those are the two I've not used yet. Let me swatch them both because they look pretty similar. Let me see how different they are. Okay, so Summer is more gold and Dazzling is more uh, rose. <coughs> but they're quite similar. So since this one is more on the pink side, let's go with um, Summer. More, Make it more of a warm... Um, Again, using a wipe that's dry because I used it this morning. Um, and this is not really the brush I would use for this, but I'm going to use it anyhow just so you can kind of see how I do this with this brush. It will work. It's just not going to be as precise because this is a little fluffier than I normally would go with. I'd usually go with something like uh, this. This is an MSQ brush that I showed couple weeks ago so it's a lot you can see it's a lot more pointy and flat and a little more stiff and this is going to be more fluffy and flexible all right that's the that's the damp side so we're going to go to summer and we're going to just basically cut out the crease now normally when I do this I'm going to use a tacky base my AOA studio tacky base but since I'm going to take this off right after. I don't want to go through all that. Um, but this is laying down very nicely. And I didn't use a finger at all. Usually I will. But you see how that just cuts it out really, really quickly and easily. There's no cut crease needed because I just mapped it out. And all I did to figure it out, I know people will do the trick where they put the, like, the concealer right at the base. But that just gets it in a weird place for me. Um, usually it ends up all the way up here. I don't want it all the way. Because you see where my eyes are, right? When they go like this. I want to more like look at it. So basically what's going to happen is when my eyes are closed like this, I should just, I want you to see just my left eye. It almost looks like a blown out uh, dramatic liner. But when I close my eyes, then it looks more like a cut crease, sorry. Um, and it looks a little bit, you know, like a smoky eye. So kind of does a, a bunch of different goofy things on it. Um... I'm going to go into Dreamer, which is the lightest of the shimmers, and pop this kind of in the middle and towards the front, but not get up too high. I just want to add some lightness towards the bottom here um, to really contrast with that depth. And then we'll add a little bit of Dreamer in the inner corner because, you know, why not? That looks to be our go-to inner corner highlight. Um, yeah. So that, we got a very purple, pretty simple look on the right eye here. Purple and pink, those go really nicely together. And then we got more of a plummy aubergine sort of, but they both definitely have that purple uh, tilt to them, which is exactly what I want. But you don't have to do that. I mean, really, the purples in this palette there's only, there's only maybe you could say um, four. So this one leans slightly on the plummy side, on the wine side, I would say. This one's definitely more of a purple. That's that dark shimmer that we put all over to, to kind of um, map out this shape. This sole is the brightest of the purples. That's what's on the outside here. And then Celestial is on the, the outer corner here. That's the shimmer. So there's basically two mattes and two shimmers that lean purple. Everything else is either on the rose or the gold or the neutral side. <coughs> um, so definitely very, very neutral. And that's the reason that I kind of was like, eh, I don't really think I want to pay, what is it, you know, 50 something dollars for it. But half price, I was like, okay. All right, I can do this. Uh, it's for posterity, right? Because I'm helping you all to to see what is the best. I do really like this. 
I would like to make a comparison between this and the other uh, ABH that I have. Um, I'm going to clean this off a little bit and use base, which is the lightest kind of bone colored, and then try to um, clean up the outer edge a little bit because I feel like it's a little, a little, uh, I think what happened is I didn't put my primer all the way out here, and so it's getting a little patchy. Um, but oh yeah, that that bone color that it's, I guess it's called base, not called bone. Um, it actually does a really good job of cleaning it up. I'm blurring it out. I know I'm holding my pen, my pen, my brush weird because I'm trying to let you all see what I'm doing. But that does a really good job. So if you need to clean up, this is a nicely pigmented bone color that just kind of blurs the edge and turns it into a nice very variation. Very, I don't. What's the word I'm looking for? Come on, guys, help me. Very, very, very nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So what do you think? Um, do we have any winners here? I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm going to use any of these, uh, either of these new pencils in my waterline because that's just going to be weird. I am, I am going to try this wax. I'm curious about this. I'm going to grab a spoolie here. There's one in here. I, as I mentioned, I'm blind. So I actually am legally blind if I don't wear my, uh, my glasses. So, so I'm just going to kind of put this all in my brow. Um, and then I'll spoolie it up. This is just a cheap, um, a cheap, uh, what's the, Shein, Shein spoolie. Um, you, so you see, I can brush my brows up and they really just, they don't want to. They're like, nah, no, nah, we're not going to do that. And then they have this weird patchiness right here, right here. There's like an empty spot on this brow. The other one. Is nice and full. So usually what I do is I just kind of brush it up and over and kind of just go with it and then just kind of bring it down. Just kind of okay. Uh, yeah, I would say it's kind of like a smoky look on this side. It's um, kind of the new way that I've just been playing with. Um, I've got a couple of looks that are posted on my IG with this. There's one I did with the... Um, the um vip was it the vip or main stage palette from from um la girl with the like the dark grungy base and then that bright green that was kind of the first one that i did like that see this one goes into place so much nicer than this one this was just a rebel um and then i did a couple others <clears throat> like i said i think i did one last week in the live on uh, last uh wednesday when i did the did the live with the with the tinker, Tinkerbell. What what's wrong, Bull? If you stick your head through there, you're gonna get all these cables tangled up, and then you're gonna just knock everything down. That would be tragic, wouldn't it? Um, she doesn't think it would be tragic. What she thinks is tragic is that mommy's not going outside with her. All right, I'm going to grab this brush, um, which actually I did use earlier. So, but you know, whatever. I'll just wipe it off a little bit. And I want to see how these blushes perform. So this, I'm popping into the e.l.f. This is the pomegranate. And I'll put this on one side. I guess I'll put it over here because this is more of a pinky sort of flowery. I don't have any base on. So I'm just seeing what it looks like on my skin, on bare skin. Um, yeah, this is when I do these looks, it's not so that I can be like, you know, oh my goodness, look at this. But that's a pretty color. It very much um, looks like my readiness. So I think it'll fit well once I have a base on. Uh, let me try the, the highlighter on this side. What do I think? Okay, that's a really pretty like rose gold sort of highlighter. I like to take this, so this is a, uh, an AOA Studio brush, and I like to just kind of pinch it, almost like it's a fan brush. 
turn it into a little mini fan brush and just go under the, the eyebrow if you want a little bit extra bling. So that's cute. Let's try the, the blush. I'm basically going to just use the other side of this same brush because I'm lazy and don't want to use another brush. Um, so pop into the blush and we'll put it over here. And I've got a big shadow right now, so I can't see very well. I have to like move my, I'm just assuming that I'm applying it well because <laughs> it's not, I've mentioned before the lighting here is definitely leaves something to be desired and my hair's all over, but you know, hey, life is life. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's really beautiful. It looks, um, um, just kind of bronzed almost. It's like a bronzed blush, but not really, but kind of. Yeah, I mean, you can see the color. It's more on the brown side than it is on the pink side. I really do like that a lot. This one is definitely more on the pink side, but they're both really cute. All right, let's pop over, open this mascara. Now, when I when I open my mascara, should I like pump them full of air a little bit so that um, they can age a little bit better um, or a little faster since I'm comparing them? I don't know. I've uh, witnessed people doing that, but I guess I'll try it on this one and see, see if it ages faster. Um, I might have missed some comments. I try to get them, but like I said, you know, I'm I'm blind without my glasses, so so I got a little flick down here, but that's normal because I I usually like pinch my eyes closed when I put mascara on. So this is a pretty wet and somewhat clumpy formula, but I can already see the fibers going off the top. Some of them not straight, but most of them are there. Okay. Let's see what this one does. So this is one coat and I'm getting quite a bit of volume and length. And this is a brand new tube, like literally just opened it. Um, and I'm getting the kind of Lash Princess feel, Lash Paradise, Lash Princess sort of which means a little a little thicker and clumpier, maybe. Let me look up a little bit. I feel like I just put mascara on my lid on my left side. Oh, I didn't. Um, so yeah, cute. Let me do another coat. I know it's not dry, but let's see. See how this builds up. It's not really clumping yet, but it seems like it will once it ages a little bit. I know some people like the clumpy lash look. I am not partial to it. Okay, this side is clumping a little bit. Uh, the right side, my lashes on my right side are better than on my left. My brow on my left is better. My lashes on my right are better. These just curl up a little bit more naturally, and they just seem to cooperate a little bit better. So stick that back in the tube for a second. Um, we'll let it dry a bit and then we'll put the last coat on. But so far, I'll look down. I'm probably putting uh, mascara on my cheeks, but you know, sorry. I'll look up, kind of to the side and the other side. I don't really need to do both sides because it's the same one on both sides, but you get the idea. Um, have any of you tried this? I don't remember who recommended it. Somebody recommended it. And I'm going to say right now, this definitely gives volume. It also definitely has the potential to clump. You see that? Um, it also gives length. But yeah, I mean, it's, I kind of have like a single, uh, like a unilash over here. And there, okay, there we go. The fibers kind of stick together too. I need a, um, 
an eye uh, eyelash comb. I have I usually just use a spoolie to go through, but I feel like a comb would work better with these thicker formulas. I just don't love the thicker formulas. So, but then I comb them out, and then that kind of takes off the the volumizing fibers, which defeats the purpose. But I like to kind of pull them back over where they're supposed to be. Because, you know, when you put it on, then they all kind of want to go forward and become like a single lash. See if I can fix this a little bit. I might have just, maybe I should have just let each, each layer dry a little bit more. But right now you can see, I don't know if you can see on the tips, right here, there's a clump. There's a big clump of that fiber and there's another one here that was on the end of that, just a big clump of those fibers that want to extend it out. Okay, so now that that's gone and I brushed through a little bit, I think it looks a little bit better. I'm being harsh on this one because I don't know why. Because I can take the time with it, I guess. I mean, I probably could take the time with other ones too, but this one is brushing out a little bit better, maybe because it had a little bit more time to set while I was putzing around with the other side. So that one seems to have brushed out better. Um, it's it's very pretty. And it yeah, like I said, I think it's more like um, Lash Princess, Lash Paradise, which used to be my go-to, but now I'm more a little bit more into like the longer, wispier, <coughs> instead of the, the really bold. But I'm not hating it. What do you think? What do you think? Thoughts? trying to look at my time see how long we've been here oh we've been here 50 over 50 minutes yes we have yeah I think it's I think it's pretty good I'm going to compare this to Lash Princess um, but I'll probably let it get a little bit more age on it I also might compare this to what other ones do I have that are more clumpy um We'll see. We'll see what other ones I have that are kind of more on the clumpy side too. Um, the uh, Big Papa one, I think, was a little bit more on the clumpy side. I don't have Lash Paradise right now, but I could grab that one uh, at some point and make a comparison. Um, let me know what you want me to compare this to. If you guys are interested in this and seeing how it performs next to other ones, but again, I want to make sure it ages a little bit before I compare it to Lash Princess because. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to um, put them up against each other. And when I do, I try to make sure you guys know if one has been open for a few months and the other one has just been open, um, it's not a fair fight. But, I, you know, I'm just putting it out there for you guys to get kind of get a feeling, get an idea. So, But overall, I think both of these looks are very nice. Um, I like the kind of smoky cut crease side here. This might be my favorite. This is, and maybe it's just because it's fall. It feels like it's fall, right? I don't know. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Um, cool. Well, that was fun. I should put glasses back on so I can see. And push you guys back so you can get the whole effect of my messy hair and everything. I'll push you off the edge. Um... Yeah, messy hair. You know, what am I going to do with my hair? What do you guys think I should do with my hair? I really, I, I love gray hair. I think gray hair is so pretty. And there are there are career reasons why I, I think it's advantageous. Um, a little bit of a social thing that people don't realize. Um, fat young women have a hard time gaining respect in this culture, in our culture. Um, however, once we age and we, ha and we have visible signs of aging, such as gray hair, um, people are more inclined to give us respect. That is an interesting, uh, little thing. And so since I am usually judged, my hair has got this big knot in it. Um, I'm usually judged as being, um, younger than I am. I like you know, I kind of have toyed with this idea of letting my hair go to, um, so that I basically, I can milk that and, and be like, Hey, people give me, give me respect, respect me, dang it. But 
The problem is then in performance settings, which I'm also part of, um, I am, yeah, I've actually studied this, like how, you know, once women get older, it's okay to be overweight if you are an older woman, because that's just, you're, then you're more like a mom figure, right? Because people look at, um, men, men usually look at women in two ways. They look at them either as a sex, sex object or as a mother figure, um, sometimes both weirdly, which is what they want to marry, right? They want to marry both their, their mother and a, and a sex object. Um, but uh, as we get older, we can turn more into a mother figure and that mother figure, then that's the person that men often go to for advice. They go to for um, helping them, you know, figure things out and that sort of thing. And so it's, uh, it takes us off of that sex object um, and I think that's one of the things that can be very liberating about having gray hair and wrinkles is that it allows you to milk that mother. I mean, and it doesn't, you know, we shouldn't necessarily be on either one. We shouldn't be stuck in either one of these, these, um, stereotypes, but that's how the world is. So, uh, yeah. So the way that people see you is a little bit. So I'm kind of stuck between, I'm not sure exactly. And you know, my age, I'm kind of like at the age where I definitely could, could be very motherly and wear my cardigans and my, and my stylish scarves. And now skinny jeans are old fashioned. So I could wear skinny jeans and I'll be completely out of style. And then everybody will know I'm, I'm a, a, an OG. <coughs> I don't know, but, um, put this around my neck and will I look, will I look sophisticated and, and whatnot? Um, yeah, I don't know. So with my hair, um, I don't, you know, I wouldn't wear my hair, my scarf like that. That was a joke. Um, I'm thinking, I was thinking of doing a wolf cut and then cutting a little bit of the length off, like maybe that much, a couple inches. Um, and then just doing a wolf cut for, for winter. And then I was like, okay, do I let it go gray? Or do I perhaps dye parts of it or all of it gray? Um, I was thinking of possibly doing an ombre with gray so that it can grow into the gray, but it's not all gray. My gray is mostly underneath and the top is mostly dark still. So it's it's a little irritating. So then I'm like, well, do I, I, I could do the bottom part gray and then the top, but that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. I don't know, what do you guys think I should do with my hair? I haven't done anything with it for a long time. And it's just, but now it's as long as it's ever been, um, you know, I don't know. It's long and fairly healthy. I just need to, I just need to debate with myself and maybe with my husband too. So, so he'll be like, okay, whatever. And I like when it's a little bit shorter, it gives a lot more curl, which I like because then there's a lot more fullness and body. It hasn't been washed for a few days. I wash my hair once a week. And that's usually on Saturday. So this is Wednesday. So it's been since Saturday since I washed it. Um, so it was a little bit on the oily side, but I don't mind that in my hair um, because I'd rather it be healthy and whatnot than for me to um, worry about it being freshly washed or whatever. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Unless you guys got anything. Um, Thank you so much for joining me. It was a blast as always. I am so glad I jetted back here. And now I got to let Rainbow out because she's <laughs> she's literally sitting right here. Uh, actually, you're going to see my mess, but don't worry about it. I'm going to show you on IG. You're not going to see it on YouTube. She's right there. Say hi, Rainbow. Hi, Rainbow. You see? Hi. Hi, Rainbow. Hi. Hi. She's looking at me like... Mom, mom, when are we going outside, mom? Are you done yet, mom? So I got to let her outside, and then I got some stuff to do. So I will see you guys in the next one, which will be Sunday. I think I'm going to continue it on Sunday for now, but eventually I might go to the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday thing that I've been threatening to do. We'll talk about that later. Uh, sorry, we're off kilter now. And that's it. So have a good night. Bye.